What are the very best luxury cars and sports sedans that you can buy? That's what we're gonna find out. Welcome to Carl Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. For this video, I'm gonna go through five of the very best luxury cars and luxury sports sedans that you can buy on the more affordable end of the market, roughly between forty to $70,000. So if you wanna know what are the very best luxury cars that you can buy, not only in terms of their performance, technology and comfort, but ones that are also reliable and safe to own beyond the warranty period, then make sure to stick around until the end of this video. And if you enjoy and get value of this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week, always straight to the point, valuable car buying advice designed to help you, the consumer. So we'll start this list off with my number five pick, which is the BMW M340i. Now I know this one might come as a surprise to some, and indeed I'm often very hesitant to recommend BMWs and other similar European luxury brands due to their very high cost of ownership, but the M340i is somewhat of an exception, and I'm going to explain why. For one thing, it has what is likely the very best drivetrain that you can buy in any luxury car south of 100 grand. In terms of performance, excitement, and also refinement, BMW's B58 turbo inline six-cylinder engine is one of the very best engines that you can get on the market. Not only does it give the M340i incredible power and acceleration, but it also sounds amazing, is incredibly buttery smooth and refined, and also has surprisingly good fuel economy too. It's incredibly well matched the 8-speed automatic transmission and X-Drive all-wheel drive system, combined with really well-tuned suspension to give you amazing handling and a world-class driving experience. But not only is the performance of the M340i top-notch, but you also get surprisingly good build quality too. BMW has been making turbo inline six-cylinder engines for over 15 years now, and the B58 in particular used in the M340i has been in production since 2016. So BMW has had a lot of time to work out all the kinks and refine the engine to the point where it is surprisingly reliable. In fact, it's such a good engine that Toyota partnered with BMW to develop the super sports car just so they could get their hands on it, which tells you something about its performance and its quality. The M340i really delivers in every other area that you would expect to see. It has a very comfortable, smooth driving experience, class-leading technology, and a very comfortable, well-built interior. It really is a well-rounded, well-designed sports sedan and easily one of the best on the market. And the best part is that if you don't want a four-door sedan or even a gas car, BMW also offers this engine in the smaller and even sportier M240i Coupe, or you could also go for the BMW i4, which is an amazing electric car option too. BMW clearly offers something for everyone, so why exactly has the M340i come in fifth place on this list? Well, for one thing, it's not exactly inexpensive. The pricing is quite high, even for what you're getting. And even though the quality is good as far as BMWs and other European cars go, I still would be hesitant to own one for the long haul, upwards of 10 years if you are sensitive to having high repair costs. It's just not the safest option to own for the long term if you want to have a low cost ownership experience. So if that's what you're looking for and want something a lot more affordable, then let's move on to the next car on the list, which is the Acura Integra. Now I know there are some that would question the Integra being a proper luxury car given that it shares the same basic platform as the Honda Civic. But the bottom line is that if you want to have a luxury car on a budget, the Integra really is the best option that you can go for. For one thing, it really gives you the feel of proper luxury with a really stylish design and a really high quality interior that's packed with really nice technology. And not only is the interior well equipped and well finished, but it also has a surprising amount of space and a really good sized cargo area too. The Integra is also a surprisingly nice driving car with excellent handling, good ride quality, and strong performance from the turbo four-cylinder engine. It's certainly not the most powerful engine in the segment, but it does give you good acceleration and very good fuel economy too. And best of all, the Integra offers amazing value for the money. Not only is the pricing extremely reasonable when you compare it against other similar entry-level luxury cars, but it also has a great reputation for reliability, thanks to the fact that it shares the same basic components with the Honda Civic, which is one of the most reliable and inexpensive cars that you can own. So if you want a stylish, sporty luxury car that's also very affordable to own, not just in terms of its purchase price, but also in terms of its efficiency and reliability, the Acura Integra is really one of the best options that you can go for. But if for whatever reason you still just can't get around the fact that it has way too much in common with the cheaper Honda Civic, then let's move on to the next car on the list, which is the Acura TLX. 
If you like everything that the BMW M340i has to offer, but you just want something that's more affordable to buy and has a better reputation for reliability, then the Acura TLX is the answer. This really is the definition of a luxury sports sedan that's not only attainable to buy, but one that's also affordable to maintain and repair. Being the luxury division of Honda, Acuras deliver the same great build quality and low cost of maintenance, just with much better performance. The TLX is available with two different engines, a 2.0-liter turbo 4-cylinder engine or a 3.0-liter turbo V6 in the Type S, both with a 10-speed automatic transmission and Acura's super handling all-wheel drive. Both are excellent engines in terms of power and performance, but the Type S with the Turbo V6 is really the one that you want if you want something that's very close to the M340i, but just at a more affordable price. And thanks to Acura's amazing super handling all-wheel drive system and well-tuned suspension, you also get great handling and ride quality to go along with that strong engine performance too. You also get a spacious, well-designed and high-quality interior that fits the price tag very well. The only area where the TLX is a little bit lacking is the user friendliness with a touchpad infotainment system which can be a little bit finicky to use. But aside from that, there's really no arguing with the amazing value that you're getting here. As far as I'm concerned, the only way that you can do any better than the TLX if you want to have a proper luxury sports sedan is by going with my number two pick, which is the Lexus IS. No question, if you want to have a top-notch sports sedan that not only delivers when it comes to design, performance, and luxury, but also one that gives you amazing reliability and longevity, the Lexus IS is the go-to choice. Lexus has been making the IS for so long now with the same basic components that its reliability is now more or less unmatched in this segment. The most popular versions, the IS300 and IS350, use a naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 with a six-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. This is an extremely well-proven drivetrain that not only delivers legendary reliability, but also more than adequate performance too. But if you want a sports sedan with even better performance, something to match the Acura TLX Type S, or even the BMW M340i, well, Lexus has you covered there too, with the IS500, which uses a naturally aspirated 5-liter V8 engine with incredible acceleration and power. Think about that for a moment. The fact that you can get a luxury sports sedan with a V8 engine with nearly 500 horsepower for well under 100 grand is pretty incredible. But not only is the performance and reliability of the IS impressive, but you also get a very nice luxury car experience too. The ride quality is quite good and the interior is very comfortable, with none of the harshness that you might expect from a sports sedan like this. And even though some of the technology is certainly on the dated side, all the features that you would expect to find are there. And you also have this straightforwardness with the control setup, making it a lot more user-friendly than most other luxury cars in the segment. For the pricing that Lexus is asking, which is far lower than most of its European competition, you really can't argue with the IS, especially when you consider its amazing reputation for reliability and very high resale value too. Its only real downsides are the fact that, yes, some of the technology is a bit on the dated side. The interior doesn't exactly have a lot of interior space, especially in the rear seats. And regardless of which version you go with, the fuel economy is really not that good either. Fortunately, all of these concerns are addressed with my number one pick, the very best luxury car that you can buy, and the one that I'm test driving here, the Lexus ES. No question, all things considered, the Lexus ES is the very best luxury sedan that you can buy if you want to spend well under six figures. Unlike the smaller IS, the ES doesn't make any effort whatsoever to try and be sporty. This is just a simple, big, comfortable luxury sedan, which is the way that a lot of buyers prefer it. I really appreciate the ES's single focus on comfort and refinement more than anything else. At the end of the day, this is the exact type of luxury car that a lot of buyers are looking for. But not only is the refinement exceptional, but you also get a lot of variety to choose from depending on what you're looking for. The ES comes in three basic versions. The ES250 uses a simple four-cylinder engine with all-wheel drive, or you can go for the ES350 with a more powerful 3.5-liter V6 and front-wheel drive, or the one that I'm test driving here, the ES300H, which is the hybrid version. I'll make this choice extremely easy for you. The one that you should absolutely go for is the hybrid. 
Not only is its smooth and refined nature perfectly in keeping with the ES, but you also get exceptional fuel economy too. The 300H is easily able to achieve between 40 to 50 miles per gallon or 5 to 6 liters per 100 kilometers, which is amazing fuel economy for a luxury car of this size. The ES will also save you a lot of money in the long run too, thanks to its amazing reputation for strong reliability, low repair costs, and very high resale value too, which is something that Lexus is extremely well known for. When you consider its efficiency, amazing reliability, and low repair costs, I don't think there's a single luxury car on the market that you can buy that's more cost effective to own than the ES. And for 2023, Lexus has also improved the technology and fixing the one weak spot, which was the old trackpad infotainment system, introducing a brand new multimedia touchscreen, which is a huge improvement over the old system. Now, yes, in terms of technology and features, it's not quite on the same level as some other mid-sized luxury cars like the BMW 5 Series or the Mercedes E-Class. But then again, the ES is around twenty dollars to $30,000 cheaper than any of its competition. And after spending a week with it, I really don't feel like I'm missing out on all that much. Now, yes, the ES is certainly not perfect. The hybrid is no powerhouse. It doesn't come with all-wheel drive. And the fact that these cars are often used as airport limos and limos in general does seem to tarnish its image as a whole. But then again, the fact that these are used as limos does tell you a lot. These are such durable, long-lasting cars that basically never have any kind of serious issues. They are the perfect car to drive pretty much forever until the wheels fall off. At the end of the day, I really think that true luxury is all about comfort and quality. True quality that's going to last you a very long time. And there's no question, if you want that in a luxury car, there's no better option that you can buy than the Lexus ES. So let me know what you thought of my picks for the best luxury cars. Which one of them would you buy? Or would you buy a different car instead? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at my other car videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you need additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcanada.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.